نحمده ونصلي على رسول الكريم ما بعض فوض بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم عن أبي موسى قال سمعت رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم يقول إن الله خلق آدم من قبزة قبزها من جميل الأرض فجاء بنو آدم على قدر الأرض منهم الأحمر والأبيض والأسود وبين ذلك والسهل والهزن والخبيث والطيب رواه أحمد والترمذي وأبو داود أو كما قال رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم قال الله سبحانه وتعالى في شأن حبيبه إن الله وملائكته يصلون على النبي يا أيها الذين آمنوا صلوا عليه وسلموا تسليما اللهم صل على سيدنا مولانا محمد وعلى آل سيدنا مولانا محمد كما تحب وترضى بأن تصلي عليه سلاة وسلاما عليك يا سيدي يا حبيبي يا رسول الله سلاة وسلاما عليك يا رحمة للعالمين وعلى آلك وأصحابك يا شفيع المذنبين All praise is due to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the creator and the sustainer of this universe and may his choices, salawat and salam be upon his beloved Nabi Muhammad Mustafa sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and upon his household, the Ahlul Bayt and may this salawat be upon these companions of the beloved Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam the Salihin and the Ummati of the beloved Nabi Muhammad Mustafa sallallahu alayhi wa sallam Welcome dear listeners to the program of Mishkat where Alhamdulillah, by the grace of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we have been discussing various ahadiths in regards to taqdeer, in regards to predestination. Various examples have been given by the beloved Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. As hidayat, we've been given instructions not to dwell into such subjects unless and until we are not educated in the matter. Today's hadith tells us about the various types of people that we meet in life. The reason for such people to be around us and why we have been made in different different ways. Some knowledge that no ordinary person can give you but a Nabi of Allah. No person can tell you why he is like this and why he is like that. Yes, the medical scientist might be able to give you a certain amount of info as to well because of this and because of that lack of this and lack of that he is dysfunction, dysfunctional in certain aspects. But why the person was this color and that color, why the person is going to do good or did good, that nobody knows besides Allah and His beloved Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam whom Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala had informed. And that information Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala via His beloved Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam had given us in various, various ahadiths. So the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa had explained in this hadith narrated by Abu Musa قَالَ سَمِعِتُ رَسُولَ اللَّهِ صَلَّى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وَسَلَّمْ يَقُولُ إِنَّ اللَّهَ خَلَقَ آدَمَ مِنْ قَبْزَةٍ قَبْزَهَا مِنْ جَمِيلِ الْأَرْضِ That Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created Sayyidina Adam alayhi salatu wa salam from various parts of the world sand that was taken from various parts of the world Qabzatan qabzaha min jameel ard. Hazrat Israel was a person that was appointed to go into the various parts of the world and take different kinds of sand. The story goes long beyond that before Hazrat Israel could come onto this earth. Various malaikas, different angels were sent go onto the earth, take sand from Australia, America, Africa, Europe, Asia, every part of the world, bring different color sand, different types of sand. Soft sand, hard sand, every kind of sand. 
But before they could come and take the first lot of sand, the earth began crying. That you are taking part of me? You are going to make something with it? The person is going to do wrong? He is going to be punished? And it will be actually punishing part of me? Please don't take this person. I mean don't take this sand from me. The way the earth, the, the earth cried and pleaded that made all the malaikas return without obeying the commands of Allah. It was only Israel that came, followed the instructions of Allah, took sand from various places, and when he returned to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with all sand from various places, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, Israel, the earth didn't object. He said, the earth objected, cried, did everything. He says, and you didn't feel pity? He said, no. I had your instructions to bring the sand. I brought the sand. What happened to the earth that doesn't bother me? I had to follow your instruction. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala nominated him that you are going to be the Malak al maut You are going to be the angel of death. Because you brought the sand. We will make man. After making man, when death will come to him, you will return him back to that earth. So the person that is responsible of bringing the sand will be the person who will return him back to the earth. Now this is knowledge. Nabi Apaq sallallahu alayhi wa had informed us. As he says, Inna Allah khalaka adama min qabzatin qabzaha min jameel ard Faja'a banu adama ala qadri al-ard and thereafter, insan has been created according to the sand that was put into his body. Hazrat Adam والسلام, had all of this within him. Hazrat Adam والسلام, had different color sands that was made, grounded, made into clay and the formation of man. The formation of Hazrat Adam والسلام, was formed with various types of sand. And thereafter from his spine each soul was released. Child was born, grew into man according to the sand of the various places that was put to him. If there was a concentration of sand that was very hard, the person becomes a kafir. And any good told to him is not going to affect him. He's not going to change his mindset because how he was created. Similarly, you'll find a person dark in complexion, another person fair in complexion, another person you know, neither dark nor fair, it is because of the result of the sand that was put into his soul and thereafter made into a child, he will grow accordingly. If there was more pure sand used to make his body, the person becomes a pious person. And at the same time, dear brothers, no matter what you are created from, your association with pious people also can change your life. Remember that. No matter what you made with. But a difference can take place in your life, in your body, in your mind, in your heart, in your soul, by the type of association you have with people. This makes a very big difference. And all of this, respected listeners, is part of Takdeer. If you looked at Abu Jahl, he had a mindset of not accepting anything that the beloved Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam spoke to him about. And on the other hand, if you look at the Sahaba Ikram, every Sahabi was not a born Muslim. They became Muslims in the hands of the beloved Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Some of them prior to accepting Islam, they drank, 
They did the wrong thing. They gambled. They were in a community that practiced everything and felt nothing wrong about it. It was our beloved Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam that came and made about a change. And the change was brought about in their mind, in their heart, in the soul, that today the very same Sahaba Ikram are totally different to compare to what they were. We will go into a deep discussion in this matter. And at the same time, reminding us how a person can make a difference in your life. It is not only what you read and what you try to understand that is going to make a difference in your life. The association of pious people can make a huge difference. And inshallah, Aziz, when we come back after a short break, we will conclude with the association of pious people that makes a difference in your life. Jazakallah khair wa ma'alina illa al-balaghul mubin.